Harry accompanies Prince Philip in his final duty as Captain General today. Hosted incoming and outgoing Commandants General at Buckingham Palace. Duke of Edinburgh's association with Royal Marines dates back 64 years to 1953. Philip has carried out visits to Marines in Malta, Singapore, Norway and Cyprus. Prince Harry has taken over from his grandfather the Duke of Edinburgh as Captain General of the Royal Marines, after the appointment was approved by the Queen. Harry accompanied Prince Philip in his final duty as Captain General today, as they hosted the incoming and outgoing Commandants General at Buckingham Palace. The Duke's association with the Royal Marines dates back 64 years to 1953, when he was appointed Captain General in succession to the Queen's father, King George Virgin Islands U.S. The Duke has carried out various overseas visits to the Marines, including to Malta in 1960, Singapore in 1968, Norway in 1980, Cyprus in 1984 and Belgium in 1993. In 2000 he attended a service of dedication at Wistraham Riva Bella in Normandy, France, as patron of the Normandy Royal Navy and Royal Marines Memorial Fund. And he joined the Queen at the state opening of Parliament in 2014 in full ceremonial uniform as Captain General of the Royal Marines, to mark its 350th anniversary. Harry began his military career at Sandhurst in 2005 and was later commissioned as a second lieutenant in the Household Cavalry, Blues and Royals. He went on to serve with the armed forces for 10 years, going on two operational tours of Afghanistan, the first between 2007 and 2008 as a forward air controller. Duke of Edinburgh's overseas visits to the Royal Marines after returning to Britain he was promoted to lieutenant in the Household Cavalry. Harry then began training as an Army Air Corps pilot in 2009. He then began training in Apache pilot and became a fully operational attack helicopter pilot in 2012, before going on his second tour to Afghanistan. The Corps of the Royal Marines is at the heart of the Royal Navy's amphibious capability and is viewed as one of the world's elite commando forces. In October 1664 the Duke of York and Albany's Maritime Regiment of Foot became Britain's first sea soldiers, beginning a 353-year history to date. Three centuries later in August 1923, the Royal Marines artillery amalgamated with the Royal Marines Light Infantry to become the Royal Marines. Royal Marines as commandos emerged during and after the Second World War, and today, the Marines number some 6,650 officers and men.